How y'all doing? Well, I've got me a can of chock full of nuts today. I'm gonna try out. It was up Walmart and they had this and I'm looking all the over all the different coffees and I'm like, I uh, seen this and so I tried to look up reviews to see if anybody else liked it before I bought it. Really couldn't find, only found a couple. They didn't really go tell much about it. So I figured I'd do it myself and hopefully I like it. This big can, this is a 30, I put my glasses on. I think it says 38 and a half ounce. 30 and a half ounce, one point, one pound, 14 and a half ounce can. This is a pretty good size can. This is the old style big coffee can. And I opened it up, it's medium, heavenly, original coffee, chock full nuts. I mean, that has got a really good smell to it. Kind of, I don't know what to compare it to. Like, kind of compared to maybe like a, like an eight o'clock coffee smell or something like that. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of eight o'clock coffee, but it has a wonderful smell. Now I've got me some Cinnabon. I like Cinnabon, Cinnabon creamer. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk to it. That way uh, I just like, uh, I like it to, a little bit more cream, but if I put too much cream, it's just too sweet for me. That's about how I like it. That's how I drink my Folgers, all my different kinds that I drink. The 1850, the Black Rifle. Black Rifle, by the way, is fantastic. Okay, the pot's done. I have a uh, bun that has this uh, vacuum thermos and don't have a burner. And I made about all oh, two thirds of a pot there. As you can see, it's kind of, it's got a nice darkness to it. I didn't make it real rich or anything, but it's like a medium, I guess, and that's what it says. It's medium. I guess uh, here would be mild, here would be dark, so it's medium. And uh, it comes in the metal can, which I like that. I can use that for different things. Uh, it's, dis it's distributed by Massimo. Don't know what that means, but we're going to try it out here. It had the thing that peels off here, which I like, but it also looked like it had a little bit of a uh, vent right here. So I guess it don't get, pr get pressured up or something. I don't know. You see the little holes there and then it has this. I don't know. And I'm going to try it. Wish me luck. That's, uh, wow, that's, that's probably the best cup of coffee I've had in a long time. That is. I would put that right up with Cracker Bell and Bob Evans coffee. I think theirs are fantastic. Say what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it by itself. Cause uh, the creamer is really good, but that really good coffee. Let me try this just in this jar. I just want to taste it by itself. I mean, it's honest. Honestly, I don't think anybody would not consider it good coffee. Unless, of course, you don't like coffee, but that. This here tastes like cowboy coffee. I really like cowboy coffee when you make it in a, uh, you make it in like a camp pot, you let it boil for a while, and you pour cold water in, and you let it set for a little bit, and then you put it back in the heat. It makes a really good, you know, there's no, and there's no acidity, maybe just a little bit. I really wasn't expecting much. Um, this stuff's been around forever, and I just figured, I don't know, I didn't know what to expect, but that's really good coffee. Now, if you like a real stronger coffee, you'd probably have to use some more of it, but, and a bun makes coffee a little on the weak side. Anyway, it makes it so fast. I think if I ran that through a regular coffee maker, one that was slower, like my son, he uses like, I don't know if it's Proctor Silex or Mr. Coffee, but it takes about eight or 10 minutes to make a pot of coffee. He makes really good coffee with it though. He uses Maxwell Health. I can't use Maxwell Health and have any luck. His turns out wonderful. This is, this is excellent coffee. I'll definitely be buying some more of this. It kind of reminds me, there's one gas station I like to stop and get coffee. The Parmars around here, if they've just made their coffee, their regular blend, their special blend, whatever, you know, their house blend or whatever, not the dark and not the different, you know, rainforest and all that. Just the regular coffee they've got is really good. 
Um, this here is similar to that. I would compare it to, maybe it don't taste exactly the same, but I'd compare it to like Cracker Barrel, Bob Evans, that that coffee that, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Starbucks, but it, if you are, it's not that kind of coffee. But it's really good. And honestly, it's probably the cheapest stuff there. Even the Folgers, it comes in a big tall can that says classic roast or something, and it's cheaper. And it comes, honestly, it isn't as cheap as this. Um, this is fantastic. I recommend this. I want you all to go out and try it. If you, if you like good coffee, you're going to like this coffee. Uh, it's been around since 1932. Uh, it's just hard to believe that it's that it make that that's that good a coffee, and I've never had it before. All right, guys, thanks for watching.